Hello. Uh, what's today? Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. This is day three of, let me turn this up just a little bit. Okay. So this is day three that God has been having me to share um, a prophetic word to everyone and um, you know as you receive these words and as you hear them then and if they apply to you if they resonate with you then pray about them ask God how do you apply them how do you receive them how do you um, activate these promises into your life into your world that you may experience them so I am just the messenger I am sharing them with you I am sending them to you and um, as I do so then I just I pray that I pray that you receive them I pray that you hear them and I pray that God's voice becomes clearer to you in the name of Jesus so um, the word which the title of this is is that God is going to finish what he has started um, I received this word while asking God some questions you know sometimes you go through your life experiences and you're kind of like asking God you know saying okay what's going on what's up with this and I know for myself I was saying look you know I am making choices and decisions I'm saying this to the Lord you know I'm making the choices and decisions in my life because of what God has instructed me to do or because this is what God has this is the role that God has led me on so God I'm coming back to you asking you what's going on with this because at certain points and times in our life it's no longer in our hands we've done our part and now we're saying to God okay you do your part in this situation so God began to speak to me and say I am going to finish what I have started so in other words if God has started something in your life if God has begun a good work in your life then now God is saying he is going to finish it he is going to fulfill what that is for you and what that looks like in your life so we don't have to continue to try to put our hands on stuff we can't continue to try to manipulate maneuver and move in things in our own strength we have to rely on God to do it and God is saying I am going to finish what I have started so if God has started something in your life if God has begun something for you then you have to trust that he is going to fulfill it and see it through and I want to read this scripture is from Colossians 1 22. and basically it just is talking about sometimes we we have hindrances from God fulfilling and seeing through the things in our life because of how we view ourselves and because of maybe we think our 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 places of unworthiness or we think that we don't deserve something or um, you know we have these kinds of thought patterns that can block what God is wanting to do and what God is saying that he will do in our lives and even that goes back to the word from yesterday that said um, that he's moving obstacles out of the way so maybe one of your obstacles is that you feel undeserving or you feel that you're not worthy to receive something or you you think that how can God do this for you you've seen God do it for other people but you just don't see how it's possible that God can can do this work in your life so I want to read this scripture for you again it's Colossians 1 22 through 23 and it says and now there is nothing between you and Father God for he sees you as holy flawless and restored then 23 says but you must continue you must continue to believe this truth and stand firmly in it don't drift away from the assurance you received when you heard the good news so that's kind of a, a two-part thing so if there's something that God has told you 
and you accepted it and you heard it and when you first received that word then you were all in and you were like okay God do this for me but then as time went on maybe you started to doubt maybe you started to drift away maybe you started to think and question and doubt that word that God first said to you well God is saying don't drift away from that you have to stand firm in that truth stand firm in who God is and how God sees you not how you see yourself not how you have perceived yourself to be not how others have perceived you to be but you have to stand firm in what God has told you the promises that have been revealed to you and how God sees you there is nothing between you and Father God for he sees you as holy flawless and restored so receive that word today that God is going to finish what he has started in you. God will fulfill and complete that good work. We know that the good news is that God sees us as holy, that Jesus is Lord. But it also means that there are some things that God has promised you and you have to stand firm in it and believe and trust that God will finish what he started, that God will fulfill those promises in your life and the things that you have been praying for, the things that you have prayed about and that God promised to you that will come to pass, accept that it's so. Don't continue to allow the negative chatter within your mind to tell you anything else. Don't allow the negative voices even that come, <laughs> that try to come as friends or family um, that try to come even in the news, in media, that try to tell you otherwise. If God has given you a promise, then God is saying he is going to finish it. Let him finish it. Get your hands off of it. Stop trying to step in because when we step in, then we stop the flow of God so often. And we don't see it. We don't recognize it. We think, oh, well, I'm just going to do this or I'm just going to help God out or I'm going to listen to that. That is constantly saying I instead of our focus being back on God and what God has promised. So receive this word. Let it be an encouragement to you today that God is going to finish what he started. And if you feel like, you know, that you have kind of stepped out, if you have kind of put your foot in something, it's okay. You can always regain your grounding, regain your stance in the place of God, in the peace of God, and trust and know that he is doing this work for you and let it come to pass. So that's it y'all. Hope you have a blessed day. Share this video if it was helpful for you, if you think it could help somebody else. And if it was something in there that really touched you, that resonated with you, share it with someone else. They may need to hear it too. So hope you guys have a blessed day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.